Imagine you're working as a Power BI developer in an organization and you've built a Power BI report in the desktop and published the report to the Power BI service. And your manager asks you with an approval backing it up to share the report with an external user outside your organization. How are you going to go about sharing the report and the semantic model with the external user? That's the focus of this video. So I'm going to walk you through on how we can invite an external person into our tenant and then we can share the Power BI report and semantic model with them. So let's get started. I'm going to come to the portal.azure.com. By the way, I'm going to be showing you by focusing on two tenants. So for now, I've logged into this Excel Jet Consult 311.onmicrosoft.com tenant. And of course, when I come to the Firefox, I've got a new tenant called Abiola at Cornerstone IT Solutions 918.onmicrosoft. So these are basically two organizations or two tenants. So let's come back to the portal.azure.com. I'm going to search for Microsoft Entra ID, previously known as the Azure Active Directory. So Microsoft Entra ID and click on that. And of course, I can under the manage click on users and then I've got three users already created. So I'm going to click on this new user and of course, this is not going to be internal user, but an external user. So click on the invite external user. And of course, we need to provide the email address of the external user. So I just copy and pasted the email address. And of course, you can give a name. Let's just call this one Abby. And uh, that's all we need to do. Go ahead and click on Review plus Create. And of course, go ahead and Invite. Now, I'm going to go to the Outlook where the Abiola at Cornerstone IT Solution is open so that we can accept the invitation. So I'm going to come here and then go to the Outlook. I've got the invitation. So Abiola invited you to access applications within the organization. So it behoves me to accept the invitation by clicking on this Accept Invite. And then I need to go on and log in and accept the invitation ultimately. So go ahead and accept. Okay, so I have successfully accepted the invitation. Now let's go back to the Edge browser. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this portal of Azure in Azure.com. And of course, we should be able to see the new user. Okay, so there we go. We have the Abiola underscore cornerstone, blah, blah, blah. So this is the external user that we invited. That's beautiful. Now I want to come back to the app.powerbi.com. And of course, our focus is to share first this Power BI report called National Grid Power BI Report. Let's see the content first before we share this with the external user. So when I click on that, I can see we've got loads of pages, you know, page one to six, and then we've got this report page with this amazing report. That's beautiful. Now I want to go ahead and share this um, report. So I'm going to come back to the BigQuery workspace and then click on this ellipsis, and then I'm going to click on Manage Permissions, and then I can see the items, the content such as the dashboards, workbooks, semantic models. I want to come to the direct access, and of course, this report is accessible to these two users in the primary tenant or the organization. Click on Add User, and of course, I can call the Abiola underscore cornerstone, and there we go. So I can go on and select the external user we invited, and of course, we can allow them to share this report with third party. And of course, we can allow them to build content with the data associated with this report. I'm going to take these two permissions from them and then allow them to only get the email notification. So go on and click on Grant Access. Okay, success. Your report has been shared successfully. So within three minutes or less, the email should drop telling us that, okay, this report has been shared with you by Abiola David. So I'm going to come back to the Firefox and I'm going to come back to the mail. Let me just wait for that to drop and then we'll carry on. Okay, so there we go. We have the mail. Abiola David shared this Power BI report with them. So go on and open this report in the new tab and let's see the content of the report. All right, so there we go. We have the report. So we are able to successfully share the report externally with other users in other organization so we can see all the page you know we can interact with the report we can apply filter you know everything works fine but the only thing we can do is that we can't modify because this is just a read only file we can actually perform write operation so of course we can filter but we can't do any kind of editing 
What happens if maybe we add a new page and a new visualization in the source workspace? What's going to happen in this destination? Of course, it's going to update. Let's demonstrate that. I'm going to come to this Edge browser and come back to the National Grid Power BI report. And then currently we've got page one to six, and then we have this report and in. I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. And then I can just go on and add page seven. And let's just play around and do a few, maybe total units by payment type. So I think this should be enough. So we have this clustered column chart. I can go on and press Control S to save. And then when I come back to the Firefox, I can go on and click on refresh. And we're going to have the page seven with that cluster column chart. And that's it. So you can see it updates dynamically. So it's actually working interactively. And this is absolutely awesome for us. So even sharing with the report with external user, we can always um, control you know, what they are able to see. You know, probably what we want to share with them, we can always do that without having to stay with them all the time. That's beautiful. What about if we want to share the semantic model only without sharing the report? Of course, we can do that. I'm going to come back to this account. And when I come back to this account, don't forget this is Excel Jet Console 111. And this is a different tenant, Cornerstone IT Solutions. So they're absolutely different tenants, not the same tenant. Okay, let's go on. So we will go on and share the semantic model from this Excel Jet. So come back to the big query workspace. And then I can click on this national grid semantic model type to convert. And there we go. So we can see we've got this DAX table that houses all our DAX measures. And of course, we have this D date calendar table, the dimension table. And when I scroll down, we're going to see the fact central table. So we're going to go ahead and share this data set, this semantic model only. So I'm going to come back to the BigQuery. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this ellipsis and then click on manage permissions. I can go on under the direct access add user and i can call the name of the external user so go ahead and select abiola on this cornerstone and then we can also allow them to modify this data set we can allow them to share with third party but we don't want them to modify anything and of course we don't want to share this report with third party so we're going to just give them the least privilege to build content with this data associated with this thematic model so this is fine go ahead and click on grant access and then access granted and then in maybe three minutes or less they should get the email notification telling them that okay this semantic mode has been shared by so 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 person and then they can use that to build their reports let's check it out i'm going to come to the firefox and let me go to the outlook and let me refresh and let's wait for the mail to drop okay so just drop so I can see that Abela David shared this Power BI semantic model with you. So go on and open this semantic model and that's going to open in a new tab. And then we can see all the tables we can go on and build report, create paginated report, and so on. So there we go, that's it. So we have all the measures and then we can see all our dimension tables and the fact table, which is absolutely awesome. Now, don't forget, we are actually not allowing them to share this report with third party. So the share semantic model is automatically blacked out. That's fine. I can click on this explore this data and I can create a black report. I can auto create a report. I can even create a paginated report. Let's just do a simple blank report. So let's want to create a simple maybe cost of goods sold and then going to put by revenue and then let's you know filter this by account manager so that's it let's go ahead and turn this to a table and there we go so we are able to build something a power bi report based on the data set shared with us so basically this is how we can externally invite a user from another organization and share the power bi report or the semantic model with them i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends and comment Thank you for watching. Bye for now.